Our Hardox 500, 550 and 600 can be very suitable uh, when producing hammers for crushers. The purpose of these crushers are to crush and pulverize materials. And this works by having the hammers rotating at a very high speed so the incoming materials such as recycling waste, limestone is crushed with high forces. And of course this means that the material used in the hammers needs to be very hard and very tough to withstand the abuse. So when the hammers are working in a crusher, they are gradually worn down and become less efficient. And it's very important that they are hard from the start. And this is one benefit with Hardox, that you have the high hardness from the beginning and throughout the whole service life of the hammer. Any type of cutting should be done according to SSAB's recommendation or by consulting our tech support. Oxyfuel cutting is a common cutting method for the thicker hammer gauges. As for all types of thermal cutting, we introduce a high amount of heat into the material from the cutting torch into the steel. This means that close to the cutting edge, where we have a very high amount of heat, we will get a requenched zone around one to two millimeter with very high hardness. Further in the material around 12 millimeter, we will have a tempered zone with lower hardness than the bulk material. The best way to ensure that the hammer have the optimal hardness in the surface is to use a non-thermal cutting method, such as abrasive, abrasive water jet cutting. Or if possible, for the thinner gauges, plasma cutting or laser cutting. For the abrasive water jet cutting, we can remove the heat affected zone completely. Or for the plasma and laser cutting, keep the heat affected zone to a minimum. For oxyfuel cutting, it's recommended to use submerged oxyfuel cutting. By doing it this way, we can reduce the risk of complete softening of the hammers when cutting them, and also reducing distortions of the component.